screen. Heavy rain continuous for over an hour before kickoff was the last thing this game needed. Keeping your feet and judging the speed of the ball on the sodden turf called for inordinate skills at times. An eighth minute clash between Gale and Walters left the Villa replacement on the floor and earned the vehement disapproval of Peter Wirth. It proved to be a taste of things to come. You had to admire Birmingham's battling aggression and Aston Villa's skills, but neither could find the finishing touch until the 30th minute. Birmingham's defence totally misjudged the pace of the ball and the perseverance of Peter Wirth was enough to confuse Coton and put Aston Villa ahead. Birmingham thought they'd equalise from a corner minutes later, but the joy of Blake and Gale was short-lived. Mortimer's running verbal exchanges with the referee came to a head. He went in the notebook for a foul. For once, he couldn't be given the benefit of any doubt. The tension and rivalry erupted just before half-time when Broadhurst didn't get up from this McMahon challenge, another booking, and the end of the game for Broadhurst. There was worse to come. Conditions worsened in the second half and tackles became harder to judge with limbs and bodies flying everywhere. But there was no doubt in the referee's mind when Colin Gibson flew into a tackle and that was the final fling of the day for him. Birmingham seemed to have saved the match and a point after an adjudge hand ball. But Blake's penalty was struck tamely, and the ten men Aston Villa side were hanging on. Gail, Hopkins and Halsall were all booked, and the game ended with McMahon holding his face as Blake walked away, and Aston Villa's pleas to the referee went on.